Hi, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yam Madar or Mater. Promise you in time I will ace the pronunciation of his name. Yam Mater spoke to the media for the first time after summer league practice. And I've seen some clips and I've seen some quotes on social media and the kid seems pretty damn confident. He said he's actually going to play for the Celtics this year. Said things like he's really comfortable where his game is at. So we're going to watch that press conference. I'm going to give my live reactions to it and at the end of the video we'll give our full thoughts on it. So let's jump right into it. Hey, before we jump right into it, you know I'm going to ask you to hit that subscribe button, right? So just hit it already. Hit that subscribe button. 1,500 subs is the next goal. We're on our way there. Also, like this video, and then let me know in the comments down below what you think of Yamadar. In my last video about him, it seemed like people were very, very confident. So I want to know if that's still the case. First, first right, question so I don't know would be from John here. Corrales, Yam. Hey, John. Hey, Yam. Um, uh, Wait, so that was the first time I've ever heard his voice. Hey, John. Hey, Yam. Um, uh, so let's... You, you, you've been with the team here for is he uh, texting a little while <laughs> this guy is like hey i'm the main attraction here i'll do what i want he's just texting how confident are you in your abilities to be at the nba level do you feel like you're ready to come in and play at the nba level get right to it first question yeah i feel comfortable in my game um it's a new level it's a new challenge uh i work really hard i prepare myself for this moment to come um, I, I know it's going to be this year that, that I will come this year uh, and I'm just excited to get started. Wow, he knows it's going to be this year Next that he's coming over. Jared Weiss. Love that confidence. Hey, uh, you have been working to uh, build up some bulk and become a more powerful driver. How has that been going? And I guess what have you been working on? Say what, please? So, how have you been working to get... <laughs> come on. You want him to respond to... Yeah, I've bulked up really well lately. Like ugh. stronger and handle NBA physicality better. It just the day-to-day -day work. You you put in that work in. Uh, yeah, I mean, what do you think he's gonna that say to your that? Your goals is bigger than uh, than your place you, you're playing at. Uh, so I think it's just a day-to-day -day work and being at the gym, putting that work in. Let me pause it because that's still like I, I know I'm I'm harping on this. I get it. But, you know, how's it been going? You said that you want to get stronger and get bigger so you can drive to the hoop in the NBA. How's it going? Do you think he's going to sit there? Do you think Yamadar is going to sit there and go, yeah, no, it's been going terribly. I can't drive. I'm not going to be able to hang with the physicality of the NBA. Like, what do you think his answer is going to be? I just kind of ripped that question, but hey. Mark Murphy? Hi, Yam. Uh, how beneficial was it to stay in Israel last year and just – how much did you improve over the course of that year? Obviously, you were most improved player in the league. What was the season like for you? The season was great for me. I think I grew a lot in my in, in the ability. I improved uh, a lot of things uh, on the offensive and uh, in the defensive side. Uh, understand, understand the game a lot, uh, much more the than I had in, in, the, in, in that sp uh, past season. I think, you know, you just need to build it uh, year by year, develop yourself uh, because uh, when you're here, you, you just want to be ready to, to go from the start. I like that answer. I mean, I, I think, you know, obviously, clearly English isn't his first language, but I think if I were to give it a synopsis, what he's trying to say is, you know, I recognize that this is a new obstacle, a new challenge, but he doesn't want to sort of, you know, be like, oh, let me dip my toes in the water here. He has spent this past year thinking that, hey, I'm getting as good as I can be so that when I get to the NBA level, which seems like it's going to be this year, he's ready to actually play at the NBA level and not have to, you know, sort of ease his way into it. I like that. Question from Abby Chin. Yeah, and what was today like, the first practice to have everyone in the gym and um, actually get some structure to everything? It was great. I waited for this moment to come. Uh, meeting everybody um, right now it's not everybody but you know it's the guys from Simon League and it's the first step uh, <laughs> meeting everybody to do. but not everybody uh, and it's you know it's uh, that's the first thing we, we need to do to start building on it uh, and that's what I'm up to right now uh, so I'm just trying to, to do my best every day come here and work get better just to prepare myself for, for the challenge for the challenges that uh, will come 
I love that he recognizes this is the challenge. Next question from Keith he Smith. didn't just come over from, you know, overseas thinking, oh, I'm the greatest. I'm not, this is going to be a, you know, just a page turn here. I'm going to be able to do this so easily. No, he literally is saying, okay, I got to put in the work here. I have to put in the work. Hey, um, how much does it help you to go against Peyton Pritchard, who's already been in the league, plays the same position as you, things like that? I like that question. It was great meeting him. Uh, we're here only for like three, four days. So, like I told you, we just need to build it day by day. Uh, going against each other, I think we'll, uh, we'll gain a lot uh, during the year. And, then, and, you know, where we are right now, I think that we, we just get better uh, each and every day playing against each other, trying to, trying to compete with everybody. Um, and it's not just him, you know, it's the, it's the team, it's everybody. We got some great players here, we're great talent that I just want to come and compete and play. Uh, and that's the highest level, you know, that's the NBA. That's why, that's why I work for. I feel like Pritchard is the type of guy that you come in and it's like, oh crap, like he's going to try and like go 110% against me in a summer league practice. Are you kidding me, Pritchard? So I, I do kind of like the, the thought of Yamadar walking in the gym and Pritchard like slaps the ball out of his hands and says, all right, let's do this. Let's go. Let's go, kid. And it's like, wait a second. Call me a kid. You're, you're, you're a kid yourself. That's what I'm here for. Uh, and I'm here to compete. Last question, Yam, is from John Corrales again. Yeah, hey, I just want to be clear. Are, are you planning on playing for the Celtics this upcoming season, or are you are you going to be going back home? Let's hear it. Yeah, I'm planning to come and play for the Celtics this coming up here. Let's go. Hey, I mean, if this kid is willing to put in the work, accept the challenge, recognize that it's going to be a challenge, why wouldn't we give him the chance? You know what I mean? And it looks like he expects to play, you know, and he, he's willing to, to say, I have to work to get to where I want to be. But, you know, he seems pretty confident. Maybe he knows something we don't know. Maybe he's had conversations with the players, with the organization saying, hey, we are probably going to rely on you this year to some extent. Like, you're going to be an NBA player, not a stash guy for us anymore. So I love to see it. I want to know what you guys think of that interview in the comments down below. Make sure to let me know. Again, I was such a pessimist. If you watched my last Yamadar video, I was such a pessimist. Had no clue who this kid was or why people were talking about. I watched his highlights and then kind of went, oh, okay. Maybe I can see a little game there. Maybe I could see him translating the NBA. So he's slowly but surely making a believer and a fan out of me. But uh, I do like, I do think that that was a good press conference. It makes him look good. It reflects him well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button as well. And turn on the post notifications, guys. We have that giveaway video coming out pretty soon. Catch you guys in the next one.